What's up guys? Welcome back to yet another video. So today I just want to talk about a personal experience that I had with an alternative form of medicine. It was an important experience, a life changing experience, an eye opening experience is what I would say. So let me just give you guys a backstory here to start things off. So recently I started joining this Kalari class. So Kalari is a Kerala martial arts form. I always wanted to learn some sort of martial arts. So Kalari was the option that I had and I took it. So in the initial classes, me being the over enthusiastic person that, that I am, what happened was I injured myself, right? With the kicks and whatnot, um, I injured my hip. In a sense that I sprained something, right? I pulled something and the pain was there. Fast forward one week, I had the pain subsided. In the next class that I had, I went with the pain. I did not mind the pain and I still did the class. And what ended up happening was obviously the pain got worse and it got to a point where I could not walk, right? I started limping. So I told my master, we call, we call him Ashan. So I was like, Ashan, I, I can't, I can't do this. I, I was like sitting down every five minutes. Um, and then he was like, you know, why are you sitting down? You know, come on, get up, let's go. And ultimately I was like, I can't do this, right? And then he told me to get massaging done at this nearby place. So if this is the calorie center, like adjacent there's a house where massaging was allegedly done. I was like, okay, let's give that a go. You know, why not? Cause I'm in pain, right? I went there, I talked to the guy. So the guy there was like, he, he didn't know the severity of my pain. Um, I told him I have a pain. Can we do something about it? He was like, it's just a normal pain. You know, when you do all these martial arts, you might get some pain, right? It's nothing, just, just don't bother. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is, this is serious. <laughs> this is serious pain. And we, we went back and forth. And when I told him that this pain was lingering for the past one week, that's when he was like, okay, fine. Now it seems serious. Now it's worth my time. Let's go. And then he was really nice to me. He got me into his house and then we went inside and then he took me to his room, massaging me, right? Uh, and then yeah, and that's when he gave me the massage, right? In this region, he gave me some massage. I don't know what he did, I was lying prone, and then I could feel him doing massage, I could feel him putting some oil and massaging, and finally, I could feel some hot thing that was like plattered, like tuck, tuck, tuck in my back. It was a, it was a nice experience. But what happened after the session of massaging? Did the pain completely go? Did the pain vanish? No, the pain did not vanish. But I was able to walk again. The pain kind of subsided, I would say 50%. 50% of the pain, gone. I was like, wow, you know? Like, what, what, what is this? No painkiller, no, no anesthesia, nothing. Just a massage, some heat, some oil, boom, pain gone. I was like really intrigued, right? I was like, what, what, what is this? What is this match? I asked him about it. I was respectful, I was curious. And because of that, he was really, um, he was willing to tell me a lot of stuff. I was like, okay, is there any anything else that we can do, right? I asked him, was like, is there like a full body version to it that I can do? I was, I was really curious and I wanted to know the depths of what this, you know, this whole massaging thing is. In Malayalam, it's called Urichal. So that's what it's called. Okay, so I asked him, is there something else? Is there like a different package? Is there like a full body thing, you know? And he was like, you know, there's like a full body version, yes. Um, it's nice, it's a, it's a longer process, but it's there. He was like, you know, um, we do have a bunch of bookings, but we have to book. I was like, okay, when's the earliest can we do? <laughs> can we do tomorrow? He was like, okay, uh, tomorrow morning, eight o'clock. I was like, done, eight o'clock, I'll be there. I was so curious, I was so enthusiastic. I wanted to know it all. So the next day comes, eight o'clock, I'm there. So there was a guy before me. So he went there, I was like, oh, God, I got Thankfully, his session was like 20 minutes. And uh, after that, 8.30, my session started. So this session was like the whole body. You know, He did my neck, he did my back, he did my thighs, he did my legs. I mean, whole body, right? <laughs> yeah. So the thing is, in that whole process, he, he taught me a lot of things, right? He taught me the basics of what it means to massage. He talked about the history. He talked about the current problems that he's facing and the, yeah, we loved, we talked a lot. I was respectful, I was curious and because of that, uh, he was willing to teach me. And my experience uh, with that massaging session or original session is like a, like a 10 out of 10. It is both the massaging part and the person uh, who was doing it, right? He was really nice to me. 
whole experience 10 out of 10. I would certainly go. He told me to come next month. Anyways, so I had a couple of thoughts regarding this, which is what I want to share with you. I, I think this is important. Okay. <laughs> I think, I think this is important. So three things is what I want to share with you in regards to this experience that I had. I have been, I have been pondering and these are the three things that I would like to share with you. Number one is the fact that I spent 23 years of my life without knowing such a thing exists, right? Having no clue that such a thing exists, right? The fact that this is not being, like, this is not being advertised. The fact that this is not being known. The fact that there's nothing, there's no clue. There was actually not even a board outside uh, his house telling that this is a massage center. And I asked him personally, and he told me that it's not being recognized. And uh, and when I asked him, you know, he said that it's not allowed. He was like, our advertisement is mouth to mouth. <laughs> we don't do anything else. <laughs> our advertisement is mouth to mouth. And rightfully so, it is working. I got it from mouth to mouth. I'm just kind of worried for others that there is something like this that is present and we are not aware of it. Coming to the next one, and that is, when I talked with him uh, regarding, you know, this massaging, he was like, uh, the, the attitude to to his form of medicine, uh, the massaging, is kind of bad. You know, it is not in the best light. Some people genuinely love it. Some people are just against it. And, I mean, you can guess who is against um, all this. Um, I mean, you know, the people who are practicing modern medicine, the doctors, the BBS allopathy doctors, are mostly the ones who don't, you know, who just don't believe it, right? Or talk down on it. So he shared this personal experience with me uh, regarding this and that is one doctor in my college, an ortho doctor, his relative or someone, you know, had some problem. In terms of the ortho side to it, there was not much that could be done. And somehow someone told him about this massaging and the, the people, the patient was ready to try it. So the doctor and the massaging guy had like a conversation and the doctor was like, you know, let's, let's, you know, let's try this massaging thing, you know, why not? You know, I'm sure that it's not going to work, but anyways, you know, why not just, you know, why not just give it a go? So, and the massaging doctor was like, you know, if you don't believe in it, you know, you don't have to do it. In fact, since you don't believe in it, we are not going to do it. And the doctor was like, no, 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 uh, I'm just saying it's, you know, it might not work, you know, but let's, let's give it a try. He was like, no. The massage guy said, no, we are not going to do it. And finally, he just, he refused to treat. And he told me two things. He will not treat a patient that does not believe in this treatment. And he also said that the treatment won't be effective if the patient does not believe in God. So those are the two tenets of, of you know, whether the treatment is going to work or will the patient get treated, which I found kind of amusing. So what I'm trying to get at is that you know, this attitude, right? Why this attitude? Arguably, I would not be this well off if I had not gotten that massaging treatment, okay? I don't know the counterpart to that, which is, I guess, me taking NSAIDs and painkillers for uh, for the pain. But sincerely, thanks to him, I am like, I'm okay. I'm walking. In fact, I just went today um, to my curly class, which I nailed. And so my question again is, you know, why do we have to blatantly hate on something that we don't truly understand? Right? If you understand something, yeah, it makes sense to criticize it. But not understanding something and just blatantly just talking shit, you know, it's not the way to go, right? I don't think the world is a better place if we just condescend anything that just comes a way that we do not completely understand. You know, does that make sense? So that's something that put me off and that is something I request to all you guys watching, you know? I mean, I do understand we are, you know, MBBS or allopathy is literally the most prevalent, the most established form of medicine rightfully so but then just because we are the big guy does not mean we have the right to talk shit about the little one come on man we're the big guys if anything as the big guy we should we should encourage others right um of course that's not the <laughs> that's not how things work here but but i guess um in my idealistic world i, I wish that uh, the big guy would help out the little guy which leads to my next point which is Right? I feel that these forms of medicine do have a role to play. So allopathy medicine, while it does sit at the top, I feel that there are a lot of lacunas, there's a lot of space, right? There are a lot of problems that we we cannot solve, right? And that is being solved by these uh, other medicines, other forms of medicine. And I think we should respect that and I should I think we should pave the way for them. And be it massaging, be it Ayurveda, be it you know all the other things in Ayush. Ayush so in my personal experience, I believe that there is, they genuinely have 
a role to play and it's up to us you know me and you uh, to to increase that and ultimately the market is what decides what to keep and what not to keep and i genuinely feel that there is certainly a place for these other forms of medicine so i would like to convey that message so, so yeah and finally i do want to know your thoughts on this right i'm just speaking my truth right this is what i believe this is what i have come across from my personal experience and that's what i want to share and you know maybe you had something different and i think this is a good discussion to have so let me know your thoughts so if you like this video give this video a like if you enjoyed and would like to support my or motivate me uh please do consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next one